G'day, Tony Davison and Brett Shadow joining you from Pride Advice this Monday. We hope the message finds you well. Now, Brett, it was a very big weekend for government stimulus announcements. There's a lot to sort of cover here. From our client standpoint, let's just go to the very top. What's changed just in terms of some of the bonus payments that are coming through from this latest announcement? Look, absolutely. The original announcement earlier this month was to receive a, a one-off $750 payment some time between now and the middle of April. And they're following that up with a second $750 in about three to six months time. So the, we get to work out exactly what that is, but there's another one coming. So that will help to keep the economy stimulated. Definitely. Um, Early access to super was in there too. This is an interesting one. Yeah, look, that was really interesting. It's a, it, it's a good thing, it's a good measure, I think. It's always been very difficult for people under financial hardship to be able to access superannuation if they're not of the right age and it's uh, not, not working. Whereas what's happening now, if people find themselves redundant or if they find themselves reducing their hours by about 20%, then they've got the potential to apply and get up to $10,000 before the 1st of July, followed up in three months' time to be able to take out another $10,000. Now that stuff's a, a really good part of this particular package for those that are still in accumulation phase that might have mortgages or just might be a little bit worried about having enough money in the bank to meet day-to-day living expenses. It sounds very sensible to me as well. Brett, there was something in there for New Start recipients as well or the unemployment benefit, an additional $500 a fortnight? That's right, $550 a fortnight for the next six months to, to make sure that people that perhaps find themselves on the, on the unemployment line. It'll be interesting though, it's one of the obligations of people on unemployment benefit is to actively look for work. So I, I assume there's gonna be another number of changes that are happening there and all we've seen is the headline, but look, that's another, look, what else can you do? It's, it's another really good thing that the government's actually rolled out here. So that should be welcome. Definitely. Now, age pension and those on the age pension, there's been some further adjustments to what we call a deeming rate. Can you just run us through those numbers? Yeah, it's a really interesting one, the deeming rate, Tony. Um, it, it took a long time for the government to actually reduce deeming rates, even though the, uh, the Federal Reserve Bank had been reducing official interest rates over time. Um, ask the, the retirees what's happened to their term deposit returns over the last three or four years, and they'll be able to tell you that the, they've dropped. So what's happened now is been since the second time the government this month has reduced the deeming rates by another 0.25%. Yep. So for those people that are receiving a, a part age pension and they're because of their income test, they should see an increase in their benefits going forward. And equally for those people that may be assets tested, given the reductions in their account balances, they should also see their pensions increasing going forward. Now that's a really important one, Brett. You know, for those, and there's many people now, who've seen their superannuation balances decline over the past couple of weeks, is now a reasonable time to update Centrelink if you don't have someone doing it for you? Absolutely, yes, and, and we're doing that too. The, the complication could be trying to get through to Centrelink. Uh, you know, we, we're hearing um, from our client base that uh, you know, if they're trying to contact Centrelink directly themselves, they can be on the wait, wait for a long time. Um, going down to the office may be problematic as well. Um, had a, one of the staff members coming into work this morning said at 7.30 there was a lineup of about a dozen people to try, waiting to get into Centrelink. Yeah. Uh, equally with that, um, that, that, that 10,000 withdrawal from superannuation, um, you know, we've had clients giving us feedback about being on hold to their industry super funds or just their, their normal funds if they don't have an advisor. So that's one of the good things about having an advisor during this time. Definitely, and I think that's one of the critical points, isn't it? If you're concerned about market volatility, if you have questions about your eligibility, which may have changed over the past couple of weeks, just with the decline in superannuation balance, if indeed you're unsure about whether you might be eligible for some of these benefits we're talking about today, Brett, the most important thing is for all of our clients, get on the phone, drop us a line, don't leave it for the next review because these are the sorts of things we can help you out with. Look, absolutely. During our staff meeting this morning, uh, as the business as usual, we sat down and what we're doing is we're going through our clients that may have just been over the assets test threshold back around Christmas time. Yep. They may actually be entitled to a part age pension now. So we're proactively doing that on behalf of clients as well behind the, behind the scenes. Yeah, a really good thing to be doing. Great, Brett. Well, fantastic catching up today. And for those who are watching and all of our clients, you're going to see an email very shortly from our accounting partner, Aslan Letfee. And Aslan's going to update on some of the small business initiatives that have come through from the stimulus package. And indeed, keep an eye on the Lions Roar, our regular e-newsletter and blog web page. We'll have another update on markets at the back end of this week, just talking about what's occurred and where we think we're at. But as always, if you have any questions, Give Brett or myself or one of the team a call. We're here to help at any stage in these sort of uncertain times that we've got. 
In the meantime, keep well, and we're going to see you again in a couple of days' time. See you soon. Bye.